Look at this beautiful day. I hate morning. You don't understand. <laughs> Look at you with your bed head. You got some nice hair going on, Rob. I'm going to tell you guys about this morning and what we're going to do. Yes. All right? We've had quite a bit of time in the water already. But I know that both of you are water babies. And you want to get out there and do something different that we haven't done yet? What are we doing? What we're going to do, we're going to take scooters, the boat, and we're going to go snorkeling. Because yeah, here in Santa Maria, Woo! it's some of the best snorkeling in all of Cuba. Today is all about connecting just the three of us. I want to just relax, to reflect about our trip. I hear if we have a calm day, we're going to see crystal clear images. Sweet. So Troy, how far is it? From the hotel Malia Cayo Santa Maria, it's about approximately 15 minutes to the marina where we're going. So we gotta go okay. right now, right now? We gotta go right okay, now. so let's go. I thought it would be uh, the best way to go snorkeling by scooter. But you have to be very careful. Cars are zipping by, there's other scooters on the road, but that's what we were looking for. We wanted to actually get out, enjoy that ride, cruise through, take our time. So today was definitely my favorite day thus far. We got to jump on some scooters, and like I said before, we always find an interesting way to transport ourselves. <laughs> and I've never been on a scooter before, so that was super, super fun. Boy, thank you for giving me to this place, man. Listen, Rodrigo, I know how much you get off on activities like this. Liz, today's not as much about the information, we are on one of the most beautiful reefs in Cuba, oh. but I just wanted you guys to be relaxed. It's nearing the end of our trip. Mm. We're gonna reflect, we're gonna think about what we've learned, what we've seen here in Cuba, and I just really want you guys to chill out, to take in that reef, yeah. right? Yep. Yeah. I think we're taking this boat. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, yeah. you mind to take oh, us? Liz, nice to meet yeah. you. On a ride on the side, mucho gusto. Where are you taking us today, Freddy? Today? We go around the cave, you can, you can do the snorkeling, you can do the beach, you, you will see the beautiful place, too many fish, you make kind of fish, okay? Amazing. Get in the boat. Let's do it's it. It's time to go. I think it was a perfect day to kind of for us to slow down a little bit. We've been crazy in towns and and trying to search things and and you know, it, it comes to a point that it gets exhausting in a good way. So I feel that today as a fifth day of our trip here in Cayo Santa Maria and Cayo Guillermo, it was the perfect, the perfect option. I think we need to hear a little bit about the reef. Freddy, Freddy, so Freddy. Are one of the most beautiful areas to snorkel in Cuba, correct? Yeah. And why is that? We are in this place. It's a beautiful and natural place. We got too many kinds of fish, too many kinds of coral. What about the coral? We Can we touch the coral? No. Can we feel the textures? No. It's a, it's a pretty particularly here. It's never touched the coral because it's like a fire coral. Tiene una enzima protectora que cuando la toca te irrita la piel. Yeah, I think they, they, when you touch it, it will it will burn your skin, but also because wow. they want to keep it neat for, for people to see, you know what I mean? They that really preserve protect. the natural. Exactly. Yes. So should we get ready? Let's do it, guys. Time to go. I don't want to get super hippie on you, but a lot of the people say that uh, when you're talking about energies and the energy of the ocean and the energy of the different sorts of elements, the perfect place to be or to live is between the water and the trees or the foliage. Because uh, the water has such an amazing, strong, powerful energy because it's so vast and the trees are super soothing and calming. So when you're right in the middle of it, it's, it's harmony. Today, we had that true Cuban snorkeling experience that we were looking for. There was almost too many fish in ways because they're completely surrounding us, engulfing us. It was absolutely breathtaking. I had no idea Cayo had that much of uh, underwater nature. The water, the fishes, the, the, the coral, the rocks, it was absolutely amazing. I know a lot of the coral reefs in the world are 
are damaged, and a lot of it has to do with tourism and pollution. People here in Cayos, they take care of that. They make sure that you don't touch them. They make sure that you don't uh, throw garbage around. They make sure that it's still a need for many people to see. My friends are really relaxing. We're enjoying the last moments together. We're reflecting on our trip. We're talking a lot about it. I feel extremely blessed to be a part of a project like this and doing something new, which is usually nerve wracking for a person anyways, but you're doing it with people you've never met before and you don't know how you would get along with. I honestly feel like now these boys are like my brothers. <laughs>